What's going on guys and welcome to an Ultimate Team video where I'm going to be showing you the Louis van Gaal rejects at Manchester United since he took over two years ago. We're now into his th third season, th third season th second season, second season of Manchester United boss and so far he has let a lot of players go. Now the players I'm going to be showing you in the squad are actually players that were in the first team majority of the time so the young players he's let go do not count towards this. So we're going to start off in goal. Now obviously there is a big issue right now with Victor Valdez. However, I'm going to be adding a guy by the name of Anders Lindegaard. Because he has been completely outed by, by Louis van Gaal and now finds himself at West Brom. There he is. And to be fair, in also team, his stats aren't that bad. He actually doesn't look a bad keeper. I've never used him. In fact, I don't think I've ever used him at all. No, I haven't. He's my his first owner. I've never used him. So we're going to see how he plays in this video so I'm playing a 3-5-2 because apparently he hasn't let a lot of centre backs go so I've had to bring in a couple of full backs in centre back which is kind of weird so at the right centre back we're actually going to be playing a right back who he let go to Leon for quite a low amount of money as well which was really really weird to see and that is Raphael and at the left centre back spot we're going to have a player who I always thought was really good and didn't deserve to be sold so quick. Alexandra Butner. Now apparently he asked to leave so maybe it's a bit different. So there he is and in the centre back position. We are going to go with another West Brom player and that is Johnny Evans. A player who I always kind of realised would probably never make the grade at Manchester United. So there he is right there. Now at, C at the two CDM spots we're going to go with a little bit of... Uh, old and young situation we're gonna have Darren Fletcher in there obviously he was went through some stuff and then he came back and was never gonna get into the team again really and then it was let go and he joined West Brom as well a lot of players joining West Brom from Manchester United and then at the right CDM spot we're gonna have a guy by the name of Tom Cleverly a guy who was sent out on loan to Aston Villa reached the FA Cup final with Aston Villa and now finds himself at Everton which is good to see because I really did like him and I really feel like he could actually progress to be pretty decent in the right mid position we're going to go with a left mid because there's no right mid to actually let go we're going to go with a player who technically is still a Man United player but I see it as a rejection because he's let him go quite weirdly Adnan Yanazai joined British Dortmund on loan this season although I can see that becoming a permanent for some reason. On the left mid spot we're going to have another an actual left mid and that is going to be Nani. A player who in my view he never really got going to Man United but he never really felt like a player that should be let go. And there he is in the, the left mid position. We're also at Cam. Now I know you're all expecting, you're all expecting to put Di Maria into the squad but guys I'm not that rich on Ultimate Team. Like I've got a few informs on here that I've bought but I haven't got enough coins to buy Di Maria. So I'm going to be putting in Shinji Kagawa in to the cam position because again he's absolutely loving life back at Dortmund doing really well in the Bundesliga this season. And up front we have ourselves a little bit of Robin Van Persie, a player who did really well in his first season at Man United. Played really well, scored a lot of goals, they won the title but unfortunately last season he didn't do as well at all. And then at right striker, we're going to have a guy who's absolutely blitzing the Bundesliga this season. And that is Javier Hernandez, who is doing obviously really well at Bayern Leverkusen. And gets a little bit of chemistry with Kagawa and Yanazai. It's not the greatest chemistry team, as you can see, 52. It's a little bit bad for me because I'd love 100 chemistry teams. I even love every player to be on, like 9 or 10 chem. But because there are a few extra players that I want to include in this squad, there is going to be a bit of Victor Valdez on the bench because he obviously was outed by Louis van Gaal and he is set to be sold next month in January. There he is right there. We also have a few more players who I've got on a photo because I've forgotten them apparently. Let's have a look here. We have... That's right, yeah, we've got two more players to put in this squad. And one of them is Danny Welbeck. Uh, there he is, Danny Welbeck. Really good striker, being played by injuries this season, but in my view, was never should have been sold by Man United. Always going to make the grade. Up next, 
is Falcao, brought in on loan, decided not to go with the offer for him because of how bad he played, and then Chelsea signed him up and he's doing even worse there. So that is pretty much the team. I also would have Di Maria if I could afford him, but he's like 50k and I have like 7k at the minute, so and I wanted to get this video done because I really like this idea. So there you go, I've got an 80 rated team, I'm just going to add in a couple of players to fill out the squad. And yes, I do have a lot of fair few informs, like, that's not a bad club is it? But yeah, I'm not going to be using those, I'm going to play a game with this team, I'm going to play an online single match, and we're going to see if we can pick up a win with this, well, to be frank, now I look at them, you can see why Man United let them go, but still... The players is let go ridiculous. Let's go get into a game and see if we can get a win with a pretty oh, average squad. Two thousand years late. Right, guys, we finally got ourselves a game and we've got ourselves a pretty decent Syria squad. We've got Kandreva, Baka, Salah, Guarin. Uh, uh, I can't remember who that guy in the middle is. I think it's Gambadini or something like that. I'm not sure who the centre mid is. I got Abate, Benucci, Jesus, Zuniga, and Pepe Reina in goal. Pretty good team. Who? Insigne. It's Insigne in the middle. There we go. Okay, here we go. Let's see if we can pick up a win. Alright, Fletcher. Through the Van Percy. Time it perfectly. Hernandez. Got the pace. Come on, come on. Pick out that ball. Oh, the touch. It was going to be perfect. Defending. No! Oh, what a save. No, 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 don't, 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 don't. Oh, ah! oh my god, luck is on my side. Get it out. Thank you. Ah! Okay. Okay, okay, chill out. Chill, chill that fuck out, man. Okay, that's half time. It's nil nil. The stats prove that I should be losing, and it's going badly. This team is awful. As Zaniga whips it in, and um, wow, <laughs> how did he miss? I should have been one nil down. I was even ready, getting ready to say it. Alright, here we go. Alright, here we go. Play that ball. It's perfect. Play it again. Nani! What a goal! Yes! This team is absolutely awful, yet I still find myself 1 0 up. I don't know how the hell I'm doing this. But that was a perfectly good team goal. Good few passes through. Nani whoops through. 1 0. Boom! Okay, what's going on? And it's 1 H. Oh my god. How the hell does this happen? I get the ball three times in there and it still finds its way through. Top corner. Keeper's got no chance. This team is shit. Let's just get this game over with. Here we go. Go! No, how did you miss? Finesse. Oh my god. Oh, okay, so fucking close. Okay, corner. Cool Alright, bring him in close. Uh, 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 yeah, it's our one. Yep, shit. I'm on the wrong controls, guys. Alright, whip it in. Get up, get up, get up. Fucking head. That was a shot. Tackle, stop, do something. Tackle, tackle, tackle. Fuck! And I've blown it. Right, there we go. Extra time it is. You know what? I'm making some subs of my own. Alright, who's knackered completely? Fletcher's completely knackered. I can't bring on Busquets. I can only bring on two players here. Yanazai's coming off. Welbeck is coming on. And Falcao is coming on for Van Persie. That, those are the only two subs I can make. Because they're the only two players that are actually Man United rejects. Staying true to the series, the video. Yeah. Oh my god, how much space can I give someone? No! Fucking shit! Where the hell was Butner? 
Like seriously, look at the space he had. Where is Butner? There. Fuck's sake. There's the full time whistle. I got beat 2 1. Which, to be fair, when I look when I look at the stats, I'm fairly sure it's going to be reasonable. Wait for it. Yeah, I know all that. Yeah, it's pretty reasonable. I was definitely supposed to lose that game. It's definitely justified. But that is going to be the end of the video, guys. I hope you have enjoyed. If you have any more ideas for more squad builders I can do in the future, let me know in the comments. So if you do have enjoyed the video, make sure you leave a like, leave a comment, like I said, and subscribe if you are new. And I will see you all in another video.